coming down. Dude, I'm so curious. I like saw this video and I was like, I have to watch this with you guys on stream. So I, if I saw a single speed day on campus and this is on my camp, I'm not fucking sitting down. I'm not sitting down unless I'm getting paid. Yeah, if you want to. Hi, how are you? I'm Noah. Noah, nice to meet you. I'm Misha. Hey, you want to participate? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this would be so painful. Like, what if you sat down and no one sat with you? This is like so much pressure. Wait, chat. Do you think it's Do you think it's easier to rid someone up if you're a girl or rid someone up if you're a guy? Does approach. Feel free to interact with them. They decide to go on a speed day with you. You will flip over to card for card. This guy's nice hair. Dude, that guy's hair was so nice. All right, I press the button. Girls have it easier because guys are down to anything that breeds. No, if she breeds, she is a thought. We went over this yesterday. <laughs> very, very single. How long? I think, very single? I think like a year. It's like a situationship kind of vibe, so nothing too crazy. I heard the younger generation, everyone is in situationships. Like no one is getting into relationships, but I feel like that's terrible. But then, like, when you're in a situationship for so long, you just become a regular relationship. Which makes me think, like, dude, you're just dating. Like, just say you're dating. Why do you have to make a new term for it? Hi. Hi, I'm Gia. Nice to meet you. Jordan. Jordan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Hi. Can I join you? Yes, of course. I'm Sonia Mia. Wait, how do they know my sexuality if I yeah, sit down? Are. What if I only get guys? Organic. <laughs> like that? Is that fine? I'm Sonia Mia. Sonia Mia? Mm -hmm. Emily. Nice Emily. to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I love your curls, Thank by the way. You. Is the situation ship <laughs> also just like an open relationship? Because isn't that just like gonna spread like STDs and stuff? I yeah. feel like if I was in a situation ship, I need my my other person to get tested all the time, and me too, and like the other people. Yeah, if you want to. Aren't you young, Sean? Want to be in a situation ship? I am not young. I'm not old. I would say I'm not old. I'm not young. I don't want to be in a situation ship. Have you done this before? No. Listen, okay. I just gotta say this right now. I think if you get in a situation ship, no offense to anyone in chat that's in one, if you just like don't want to get into a relationship, just say you don't want to be in a relationship. I think that if you're in a situation ship, you're gonna have feelings. Like you're gonna have like jealousy or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's kind of like, I think if you're gonna date someone, just like all in. Like you think when I play Valorant, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna give like 80% of my my skill. Fuck no, like when I date someone, I'm gonna give 100% of my like talent, okay? So you gotta woo me. I'm like the beautiful bird and you're like the ugly duck and I, wait, does the guy, wait, is that how it works? In birds, are the males the one? I have to become a beautiful bird and then you're like the ugly duck? This is coming out all wrong. This is all coming out all wrong. But I have to woo you, and I'm going to go all out. I'm going to show you all of my dance moves. I'm going to open up my feathers, and I'm going to show you every dance move I got. Dude, the male birds are the pretty ones, I'm just saying. And then they have to, they have to seduce the female bird, and the female birds go, ew. The worst... Okay, listen, chat. For all the guys in chat, you shoot your shot because the worst she can say is no, and then followed by that, the actual worst thing she could say is ew. Hi. Yeah, of course. Go okay, ahead. Okay, great. Thanks. How's it going? Good, good. How? What's your name? My name is Emma. What's your name? Damien. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look great today. Thanks. Chat, would you get mad at me if you saw me on this show, but I was like lied about my name? Like, oh, I'm I'm Brett. So. Cute. What year are you? I'm a senior. Okay, I'm a second year. Oh, cool, so cool. a little bit newer. In this Dude, she's her vibes off. He was like, I'm a senior, and she didn't match his energy. She should have said, I'm a sophomore. 
but she says she's a second year. They're they're not compatible. I'm a love guru. They're not compatible. You will get to know each other for five minutes. Feel free to grab one of the perception box icebreaker questions. When you're ready, both of you press your button to start the five minute timer. Okay. Okay. Wait. Yo, I like their necklaces. You ready? So should we press it? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. Why don't we go with you? Let's do it. Okay. This girl on the right dresses like she's so young. I know, like she she looks like she's not in college. She looks like a high schooler. On a scale of one to ten, how ready do you feel to be in a relationship? Ooh. That's a deep question. That is a deep question. <laughs> Chat, how ready are you to be in a relationship? And if you're in a relationship, leave. You're making everyone that's single feel self-conscious. Get out of my stream. Um, um well, it's hard because I'm a senior, so I'm graduating. It also depends. I think I'm ready to date someone. If they make 800K, I'm like 11. I'm like totally ready. Because at that point, like, one part of life is defeated. We've like defeated capitalism, and now I just have to fight. Like, as soon as I'm not my own worst enemy, it's over for everyone, okay? Waiting soon. Me too. Um, yeah. I've been single for a little over a year now, and I've oh, enjoyed wow. it. Yeah, I, it's yeah. refreshing. Does she enjoy it? Does she actually enjoy it? I feel like if you're dating the right person for you at that time, you enjoy that more. That's just my opinion, okay? I think two is better than one. I think three is worse than two. Ding, but um, yeah. I don't know. It's nice to have someone to depend on and yeah. keep you warm at night. <laughs> she means 800K. She's saying all these fucking words, but what she really means is someone who makes 800K. Well. I agree. This is like a very transitional period of our lives, and I'm like, kind of want to just focus on that for a bit, but... Okay. I want to say, though, I think that you have the best chance. I think you have the best chance of actually finding the right person if you're not looking at all. And I know I know you guys are thinking like, well, if I'm not looking at all, Sean, like, how am I going to find the right person? OK, listen. This is what I mean. I'm going to be real. OK, I would say that I'm most attractive to people when like I'm not trying to be their friend or not trying to like date someone okay when i'm just like being myself doing something that i love that's like the best like if you were to, like take a picture of me like a candid photo of me i promise you that the best photo of me isn't when i'm on a date with someone and isn't when i'm trying to like impress someone or do something it's literally when i'm throwing a frisbee on the beach having fun okay because like you something that's like su something that's like kind of sad but if you have like friends take photos of you it's not sad is like the best picture of you, I promise you, the best picture of you is when you're just laughing at something and the person taking a photo is like snapping at you and there's like no context because it's just like you being like happy, you know? And like, I've always like attracted people. What People always ask me like, oh, how'd you make your friends? How did you like get in a relationship? Well, like, I actually wasn't trying to do any of that. I was literally just in an environment. So there's the thing. You have to put yourself in environments where there are people around you, but don't like try and pursue people. It's kind of like, okay, this is the perfect example. You know, like when someone does something that like annoys you, like let's say choose with their mouth open, random example, someone chews with their mouth open. Okay, you go hang out with them and now you're expecting them to like chew with their mouth open. And then when they actually do it, you're like super aggravated because you're expecting that thing to happen and then like you don't want it to happen and then like but you know it's gonna happen and then it happens and you're just like holy shit this friendship is over type thing that's how i feel like when you're trying to like force something too hard i think you just gotta be like supernatural that's why if you're gonna date we should do my speed dating show idea where i bring you to ikea i pick out a furniture thing that you guys have i'll buy it i'll pay for it okay because love is infinite and doesn't have a price I will buy you a furniture item and you two have to build it together. Okay? It's much better than this like dating show idea. Dates, getting to know people, you know? It's, yeah, I it's think a fun it's part. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> if a man can't build something from Ikea, ick. What action do you want to take but don't feel ready yet? I just met you, like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> do you have an answer? Um, I mean... What the, what is that? Why did she answer? She answered that so defensively. I just met you, but like that, it doesn't, it, it's not even about you too. That could be anything. Like I'm not ready 
to play a Mishima and Tekken. And if she doesn't get that, ick. I press the button, go next. I'm a senior, so I'm graduating yeah. next quarter. So I guess like graduation, okay. like I kind of need to like start being an adult. But like I, job? Yeah, but I don't know if I'm ready to be an adult yet. Yeah, how about you? Um, I guess like same, just like yeah. figuring out the future. I don't really know what I want to do, so. Yeah. Dude, these two don't have synergy. I don't like, I listen. I think that these two have someone out there who's perfect for them. They are not perfect for each other. Uh, what year are you? I'm a first year. Oh, so. wow. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, you got plenty of time. Real. The future's not coming up too fast for you yet. Oh, uh, real. Yeah. Okay. Do you like your name? Is there another name that, that would fit you better? Chat, what is a more fit? What is your name now? And then make a, make a minus sign, minus sign, greater than sign. So that it shows, it makes an arrow. And then tell me what your dream name would be. Let's say though, it's not like you like your name the most. It's like I, I'm forcing you to name change and you can't pick the same name. And you can't go from Jenny to Jennifer, okay? I like my name a lot. Um... Emma. My name's Emma. And you can't go from Emma to Emily. Do you already play the new server? The new server for Vax. Tamaria? Tamaria. Mary. Or Chile. Majin. Mombanger69. I heard you can have numbers in I your name, right? I supposed to be named Jade, though, but my mom's best friend, like, stole the name, kind of. <laughs> my name was supposed to be Ryan. My name, my mom was gonna name me Ryan, and my dad's like, no, wait! Let's name him Sean, because my favorite actor is Sean Connery. And my mom's like, okay. The time, <laughs> yeah. and she named her daughter Jade. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Jade would be- My mom had like 10 names for me, my dad had kind of one name. Yeah, yeah. Well, my, my actual name's Damian, okay. but I go by Damien just because it's easier for people here, because yeah, mm -hmm. I'm Serbian. Well, what's your like um, ethnicity? Can you like name your kid Cloud? Is that weird if my kid's name is Cloud? I feel like it's weird if I name my kid Sephiroth. That's like a little bit too like, ooh, edgelord. I, I created an edgelord before my child even had a chance to like become anything. Oh no, Ben. Listen, I can explain. I'm a responsible streamer and I always have my thing on. When does the new Minecraft server go up? It's up. It's definitely up already. Yeah. I'm half Filipino, quarter Chinese, quarter white. Cool, cool. But we don't talk about the white part. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's cool, that's cool. Are you full Serbian? Yeah. That's so cool. Both of my parents. Why do people always say that they're white? Why don't they just say what they are? Like, eat, like just say the most white thing you are. Like, oh, I'm like 80% like German. I'm like 15% French. They didn't say you're German. Just say you're German, Chinese, and Filipino. Like, why did you... Why? That's like saying like I'm 75% Asian and then 25% white. It's a friend there and stuff. That's yeah. awesome. Well, both versions of the name are cool. Uh, Kaysen. Mm -hmm. Dude, these guys all have unique ass names. Kaysen? Uh, about nine months now. Um, just been going around. Nothing too serious, you know. Right, let me... Go for it. This is my nightmare. This is my nightmare if I sat down and no one sat down. It would be so, so terrifying. What is the most vulnerable you've ever felt in a relationship? These are some crazy questions. <laughs> the most vulnerable I've ever felt in a relationship? Yes. Um, the most vulnerable I've ever felt in a relationship. Let me think about this. I feel like when you're pooping and then they walk in on you and then they choose to stay because they don't care. I would think Channel like points are now on. Last relationship. Like I was going it's really up to the mods, like, Ben, if you get your channel points back. It's not my, it's out of my, it's out of my, it's out of my reach. Because like, I just felt like nothing was going my way. Like I'm exposing all my failures and everything to like this person. Um, so whether or not like that affects their opinion of me. Oh wait, the most vulnerable I've ever felt one time was a nuclear bomb drop next to me and I showed fear. Um, so I felt most vulnerable probably then. Cool. Like when I'm introducing them to my, my family, even if it's like over FaceTime, yeah. I feel like my family is a very important like mm -hmm. part of my life. Letting them see that side of me was like, for me, vulnerable. Like if you meet my family, you're a pretty special person. So yeah. I think that was different for me. Yeah, makes yeah. sense. All right. What would be required for you to take back an ex who hurt you? <laughs> Are you asking me? Yeah. Um, that I must have been hard for you. Yeah, I know. I would you also. That's actually cringe. Um, 
they hurt me. I guess it depends on like what they did to me. So how do you have exes? I do. How many? Two. One in high school and one in college. Okay, so you had like a high school dating experience. Yeah, the high school one was like a COVID relationship. This guy's jawline is immaculate. Like how, do you think this guy mews like 24 seven? Like he's just always clutching in Valor and he's always mewing. Oh, this is like right at the end. Yeah, he was like the only person that I saw. Um, Actually, they both have pretty impressive jawlines. Oh, okay. As like a straight man, I respect this. Okay, so your parents Like God has favorites, I get it, okay? Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. They were super supportive. And um, we just got super close because we hung out like every I don't remember the questions. Um, I was distracted by their jaws. Um, but I don't know. I typically don't like to go, th go back to things that I've already like completed so oh. probably wouldn't go back to an ex like no yeah. matter what I, like, you can't go back to your ex chat once you go back you're just always going back like multiple lives okay so i wouldn't return to something that i've already lived you <laughs> wouldn't reread the chapter of a book and you wouldn't re-watch your favorite movie and you would never eat the same food you ate yesterday so why go back lives yeah what yeah. do you mean by that i feel like Changing up scenery, changing up groups of people. Okay. Like, I have consistent people in my life, but I feel like I read this thing or, like, saw this, like, TikTok. Okay, chat, I've learned recently, like, something I need to work on is I talk a lot, but I need to ask the other person. I need to match the other person. Or I need to make them match me. Because, like, my ideal type from our test yesterday is, like, I'm also looking for an ENFP. It was, like, do whatever excites you the most because that's, the, like, how you'll get the most out of life. And I've been like living like that for a while. So. I like that a lot, yeah. What is this timer? There's just a timer here? Like these guys are like yapping. That's cool. Time's up. Okay, so I think okay. we read part Oh, I didn't even realize there's okay. a the fucking timer on the table. We made it to the end of the first round. If you would like to extend the date for another five minutes to get to know your partner better, please press the button. If you both press the buttons, your time will be extended for another five minutes. If you do not wish to continue the date, you What was that? He just reached for the button. Oh no, it's fucked. It's actually fucked. What's worse? What's worse? Someone pressing the button on you or no one showing up to even date you? I feel like no one's showing up. Say goodbye and leave now. On the count of three, make your decision. I forget your name. I'm sorry. Wait, they push the button? Wait, what's the button do? The button means that you reject them and the button means you want to continue the date. Nasir? Nasir. I'm going to be real. If I'm sitting down at this table, like I got time. I got time between my classes. Like I got time to kill. Got it. What's your name? Lauren. So I'm curious. This is this Ugh. Lauren. Ugh, what a boring name. God. Meanwhile, his name is Nasir. Nasir. A, a name that's completely forgettable. Lauren, I'll Got always it. remember. What's your name? Lauren. So I'm curious. This is this is an off brand question. Yo, I like her shoes though. Okay. How do you feel about roller coasters? He looks this is not a race thing. I'm not racist. He looks like key. From Key and Peel. Wait, Key and Peel. Like something, it's like his eyes or something. Dude, does this guy not look like Key from Key and Peel? Like, he looks different for sure, but there's like something about him that gives me that vibe. Nah, bro, that's racist. So sorry. Okay, we're moving on. You know, for a while I wanted to go to Six Flags, but then I don't really yes. like the feeling of like my. Yeah, he looks nothing like Key. You guys are right. You guys are right. You guys are right. You guys are right. No, no, no I like. Agree. It's definitely sketchy, but. I, you guys I, just I, don't I, know. I, you guys I, don't I, know I, like I, what it's I, like being me. Yeah. Something about me is like I just don't see race. I just look. It looks scary. I do like roller coasters. Like those. I don't even see gender. They're pretty scary looking. I actually see it. Okay, yeah. now now we're talking. They are they're twins. What is the most Why do they show that? Why would they show that? That would so Oh my god, if I'm that guy and I'm He better get a date from this. If if whatever if Nectar did me dirty like that, I would kill them. Ever written to you and why? I'm a backpacker, so I love traveling. And so it's not a letter that I've received, but I write a lot of postcards. Mm. And so me and my friend like to send each other cool postcards. I she seems like a hopeless romantic. She gives me vibes of like Emma Stone, except not an actress. Sent her like um, a wooden one mm. once. It's Would I take her to a haunted mansion? Absolutely not. Would I go camping with her? Maybe. Actually, harder and harder to find stamps because like nobody's sending okay never mind i don't know like her hobbies now are way out of my like i don't give a fuck not that not that stamp collecting is lame
it's the year 2024 everyone i think i think stamps are in the past things via but you know people collect yeah, pokemon yeah. cards and that's old so yeah i'm a big fan of postcards mm. that's cute i like that a good letter that you've received you see late acceptance now <laughs> she would write really good like heartfelt letters for your birthday Sony Amia, Son Son Sonyamia, Sonyamia. So cute. Aww. Like it was kind of. I did not expect it at all. Mm -hmm. I got excited because I thought I had a secret admirer for a second, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, it's my mom." But yeah, it's okay. your biggest supporter. Exactly. You know? Exactly. You know what's really cute, chat? My mom used to give me chocolates and a card on Valentine's Day every year when I was growing up. What emotion do you feel walking into your childhood home? What emotion do I feel walking into my childhood home? Anguish, pain. No, I'm just kidding. Walk when I walk into my childhood home, I like like it. It's like going back in the past. Like that was like when I I like life had not jaded me yet. The worst thing I had was like I missed a World of Warcraft raid. I have my friends come over and like it's like nostalgic. It's cool. Man. That's so do you want to go first? My childhood home is um, still like where I go home to. Mm -hmm. And it's just my grandparents now. I grew up with my grandparents and then my mom like recently moved out and she lives with her boyfriend now. Mm -hmm. So when I go there, I guess I feel kind of- I've never had friends that were- I had a friend that was adopted before, but I've never had a friend who lived with their grandparents and not their actual parents. Kind of just not only nostalgic, obviously, but just like- it feels a little bit empty, like it used to be like a loud, big place. Yeah. And now it's like a little bit quieter, but it just feels like growing up. Yeah, yeah. I... Oh. Hey, before we go, would you mind adding me on the Nectar app? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Here's my username. Ew! <laughs> Alright. When was the last time? Wait, this is staged. That is, that's just the plot. That's just like the, that's scripted. Time someone told you, you've changed. What did you assume they meant, and how did it make you feel? Chat, I recently got told this to my face. They said, I've changed. Like, ever since I got older, I've changed. Is this true? Ever since you guys knew me, from like forever long, when you guys first saw me till now, do you feel like I've changed? Dude, I'm just like different now. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Do you have an answer? Um, somebody told me when I was back home, they told me oh. I got taller. Oh. Uh, so they told me I like oh. changed physically. Uh, yeah, real. Okay. I don't know if anyone. I don't think anyone's ever told me that I've. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I think I've gotten less adventurous. So I think chat. I need to become more adventurous. <laughs> In a negative way. <laughs> yeah, I was just checking. Um, but how am I supposed to be adventurous? I, I, I mean, I'm literally playing know, Minecraft today, which is like out of my comfort zone. Yeah, in a bad what, did way they, what did they mean? It was like just I for you guys. After, like, I went, I've only known you for a week. Yeah. Let's yeah. slow down. Oh, I'm fast. Uh, bowling or something and they're like you and i was like what is that if i became I less know. funny would you guys tell me would you guys just like make me self-conscious i'd be like dude you're not funny today like you were so funny yesterday you're so bad now do you think it's him do you think it's him like he's deterring ladies in chat is it him or 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 gay guys in chat is it him like personally I wouldn't sit with him, but it just looks like I have nothing in common with him. Like nothing. Like zil like zilch. Like mulch. Other people assume about you. What do you imagine other people, people assume I watch anime? Crazy. I don't watch anime. People assume about you. That's a good question. Cool. But I think probably people assume that I'm too like flamboyant maybe. I don't know. I think I'm a very like, I'm, I'm very confident. I just kind of like say how it is, like okay. act how I act. So I think like people kind of are like a little taken off by that sometimes or there's I'm just like, I think these two have the most chemistry. Maybe too much. Yeah. But I, I have a chill side to me. I but part say. of me thinks like how like Okay, I think that the coolest thing a person can have is charisma cuz I think if you're charismatic, you have like confidence and you're like you know who you are and you're not trying to like hide anything and you like can carry yourself well. That's like what charisma is. I think that these two people just also have the most charisma. I feel like mine's the exact opposite. I feel like people would assume that I'm a little serious. Mm -hmm. um, but when you Something I'm really good at though, chat, is I'm really good at holding eye contact. Because my parents, when they fucked up, 
they would come to me and apologize and say, I love you instead of cutting me fruits and leave it in my room and then walk away. So I can like keep eye contact with you for like, a really long time. To know me, I'm like the least serious person. I am very energetic, yeah. but like, I think at first I don't come off as that. But yeah, like the exact opposite of what you said. I love that, yeah. exact opposite. Whenever I meet people, they always tell me, they're like, you're so like out there and extrovert. I'm just like, actually, I just had a year of Monte. Like I'm really energized right now, but. I think people assume that I'm like a goody two-shoes. <laughs> okay, I assume that she's the goody two-shoes. I don't know if it's like my baby cheeks or something. It's your hair and the way you dress. And maybe your face. But I really think it's like you're the whole package to you. Not like a goody two-shoes, but you seem like innocent. But like people... But she does hardcore drugs! Like, don't think that I, like, I can break the rules or go have fun or something. Like I feel like if you say that, like, people don't think I can break the rules, that makes me think that you're a square and you don't break the rules. Like, just say you do drugs. Just have, say it. Say it on the Nectar YouTube video. What's, like, one of the craziest things you've done recently? Recently? Yeah. Um, oh, no. She's gonna say something like a bill of spice rack. Oh, no. Well, you'll never okay. know. <laughs> Oh no, we'll never know. Oh no, what what crazy thing could she have done? It's to the end of the first round. If you would like to extend the date for another five minutes to get to know your partner better, please press the button. If you do not wish to continue the date, you will say goodbye and leave now. On the count of three, please make your decision. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Right. Ready? One, two. Uh, no, I feel like these two, I feel like someone here is going to push it. I don't know between these two. I feel like these two are going to push it. <laughs> One, two, I feel like these two had... Three. Is this guy stupid? He's like one, two, three. He's counting it down and he presses it on one. Is he an idiot? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's it. It was really nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, you too. Wait, did these two press... These two don't even fucking know each other's names. They've been talking this whole time. They got no screen time because their talk sucks ass, probably. They don't even know each other's names. Lauren. Lauren, nice to meet you, Lauren. And your name? Nasir. Nasir. All right, got cool. it. All right. Nasir, I understand. Nasir is like, that's a rare ass name. I've never met a Nasir. Her name's Lauren. Lauren. It's her, his name's Lauren. Give him a break. He's nervous. I can remember your guys' name. I'm nervous. I'm talking from people. Your name's George. I remember your name. I'm sure I'll see you around. Yeah, nice to meet cool. you. We don't even know this guy's name! We don't even know this guy's name! Kaysen. Can I give you this? Sure. Have you ever gone through something upsetting or painful that you later viewed as a blessing? So, last year on April Fool's Day, I had some friends who um, called me up. One of my friends was like panicking and she was like it's jordan he he separated his shoulder he like you know got dislocated it got it you need to run down here now he's thriving in pain he can't respond i was like yep i'll be down there have you called emergency stuff they're like we don't know if he wants an ambulance to come we don't know if he can do that i get down there and it was an april fool's day prank right but what happened was i knew because we've talked about these kinds of things that he probably would have wanted an ambulance because it was going to have to go that way since it was so bad so the ambulance still showed up Oh my problems. god. But long story short, what ended up happening is it kind of broke the friendships of everyone. It broke apart everything. But I, I view it as a what? because I learned more about who I was hanging out with. What the fuck kind of friend circle is this? Are you joking me? Why would that break up a friendship? What I value in friends, who I want to be around. Chat, if I ever dislocate my shoulder, don't call me an ambulance. Come pick me up and carry me to the hospital. I don't I don't want to pay the four thousand dollars. I'd rather die. I don't understand his story. Can someone explain the story? That sounds like the shittiest experience. Like, how are you stronger from that? That would just give me trauma. Alright, so I guess we challenge card? Yes, okay. Oh no. What? Uh hold hands. I feel like if you made it to round two, you're in. Like, the only thing that either of them could say right now is, oh, I actually think, like, the Nazis weren't that bad. I think, like, low-key, the Nazis were valid in, like, some regards to blah, 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 blah. While you tell each other about your first crush. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. 
Like actual crush? I, that's what it says. Okay, how are we doing this? All okay, right. now How do you know about your first crush? Like, I don't remember anything about my first crush. I just like really liked her. I like, I, I, I liked her and I like wanted to like hold her hand and like kiss her and like, your first crush? Like, chat, how old were you when you had your first crush? I was four. I was like five. You say, oh, I, I really liked her. I wanted to kiss her and I wanted to marry her. And I don't know what sex is yet, but I wanted to have three kids. This is cool. You go first. Okay, um, wait, like, this is weird, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's too late. Um, like, can it be a celebrity crush? Is that fine? I don't know. Is it says chill? first crush. Okay. Um, this guy has, like, giga approachable vibes. Like, he's not killing me. He's, like... What's the serial killer who, like, was really handsome and, like, he kind of, like, he, like, murdered tons of women. What's his name? He's super famous. He's, like, that's the vibe I'm getting from him. Like, I can trust this guy. He's gonna kill me, though. Uh, <laughs> um, when I, <laughs> that one white guy. Like, yeah. Um, Bundy. I Ted Bundy. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Actually, I went before that. I don't I'm know, sure I you went before that, yeah. Yeah. Um, and they had like a TV playing, like a, yeah. like a playing movie, and it was like Curious George the movie. To be fair, my first crush in kindergarten, when, the, when I instantly saw her, I knew she was the one. I knew I was going to get married to her, and that we were both to become astronauts and make 800k each. Yeah? <laughs> no, not the guy with the... What's the it, man in the, the yellow, yellow hat, hat? No, was my dude. first crush. What the fuck? That's what we're going? We're going to go for a crush that's physically impossible? I didn't know like that was it. He was like tall and he looked like a banana. <laughs> okay, guys, I found out what the reverse ick is. You just have to look like a banana. Okay, we have another five minutes. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, no, I want you to answer the last question. I'm curious. <laughs> What's like the craziest thing you've done recently? Um, yeah. I got my nipples pierced. <laughs> for the second time <laughs> they did not want to stay and i refused and i was like i'm gonna get them done yeah. again i wasn't like, expecting that from her they look so hot <laughs> and that's like cool. another thing that i'm doing to kind of like break the good girl image mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's a crazy thing. yeah but that's like okay that's like her trying to be quirky but she's not quirky like she's trying to break the image which makes like you're not like you're not bad you're not bad to the bone like me we're not the same. Me and her, we're on opposite spectrum. She's, she's, she's a little quirk, and then I'm like cool, calm, collected. Thing that I've done recently. <laughs> well, and now the internet knows. <laughs> now, the, now everyone knows, and that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. Um, is the challenge guys then? Okay. Go I'm on. surprised these two stayed. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Okay, yeah. Facetime the other person's mom. Can I Yo, if someone. If if I'm on a date with someone and they FaceTime my mom, it's GG. Like, what am I supposed to do? My mom is going to troll the fuck out of me. FaceTime your mom? My mom is dead. Oh, oh <laughs> yo, what the fuck? Okay, she got owned. She just got fucking owned. I, like, I'm sorry for this guy. I'm sorry for your mom. This girl was so excited. She put this entire question on a pedestal. She fucked this up. Oh, honestly, chat, low key, if my mom passed and I get and we have to do a call, I'm just gonna call one of you and just say you're my mom, okay? So sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm really sorry. I, I would love to. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. My <laughs> dad brutal. passed away too, so I feel you. Oh, dang. <laughs> you can FaceTime really my mom though if you want to. Uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it was T made it so awkward. I would have just been, okay, low key. Low key, something I'm really good at. So I'm a man, okay? I'm a man. I grew up in a society where you're not supposed to like show negative emotion or like any any weak emotion, which is like anything that's not happiness or anger, I guess, is the only two emotions men can feel without being judged. Okay, low key, I would have just said like, oh, actually my mom has passed, but I'll let you call my dad. Like I wouldn't have made it like a whole serious thing. Not that he should do that, but... Maybe my brain is just going for like content, but if I if I was her, I would feel so bad. And there's no way the card writer or she could have known that that was gonna happen. Okay, you know what? Maybe he's nervous. Okay. I'd be very down to. We'll see if she answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm calling her. Oh my god. Her name's. Well, you can uh, greet each other. <laughs> what would I say? I would be so nervous. I bet, uh, I'm Timothy. And then she'd be like, what the fuck? Your name's not Timothy. I'm like, oh, hello. Is she answering? Oh. And then they're like, what do you do for work? Uh, I, I raise children in a daycare. <laughs> hello. Hi, I am with your daughter. and I Dude, 
I don't even FaceTime my parents. I have to FaceTime someone else's mom. Such a bad, so bad. It's just... I just wanted to say that she is very pretty. And that... Oh, this guy's rizzing the mom up. Yo. You raised her very well. She's a super fun person. Oh my God. I see where your daughter gets her looks from. And oh my god, are you a model? And then she's like, no. And then you go like, when did you quit? Yeah, okay. She's just really pretty. Yeah. But I just got to know her. Yeah. Like Don't use Riz pickup lines. That was a joke. That was a joke, okay? Don't use mother Riz pickup like daughter, lines. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's like mother like daughter. It's better? Okay, this is like a no-duh thing. It's better to not use one-liners to pick someone up unless you're John. I think like the best thing you should do is just be funny. Like just be yourself and just try and act silly she says <laughs> no one wants to date someone that takes everything too doing? seriously okay they're no that fun they wouldn't you would not want to go to disneyland with them it would suck <laughs> john like can pull off one-liners he's allowed to do that yeah nice to meet you too we'll let you go bye She's hilarious. You do a lot. You do look a lot like her. Do I really? Yeah. yeah. A lot of people saying that. She's like um. She's a younger mom too, so we kind of oh, like cool. grew up together. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say she looks younger. Yeah. yeah. So Wait. Look at his necklace. Investigators in chat get to work. This guy's Christian. Is he Catholic or Protestant? Can you tell by the way his mannerisms are? She had me when she was like twenty-two, something like that. That's that's crazy to think about. Like my age. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how ready do you feel to be in a relationship? Whoa. Wait, wasn't this someone else's first question? Her mom is not feeling the relationship. That's a crazy question. <laughs> I'm um, glad I'm asking this. Yeah, this first. is good. This is good. Okay. I think for me, I'm a solid like six. Okay. Solid six. Okay. A six? You aren't ready to date, and you sat down at a dating table, and you're a six? I think because like. I'm getting there, but also there comes the, the moment of like, it's my senior year, I kind of want to like go yes. crazy, but yes. it's like moderation's key. It's like, you could go crazy, but you also could like have that person just to be with. Yeah. So that's where I'm like kind of battling, I would say. I'd say? say very, very similar. I think um, like I've been single for like seven or eight months now. Mm -hmm. And like, so being able to like have that time and just like, fo like I've loved it. Um, but it also shows me, like, I could be in a relationship. Six means dating, not commitment. Me. Okay, I'm going to speak amongst... Listen, for all the guys in chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Guys are really stupid, okay? That's not the thing you're fact-checking. Guys are really stupid, okay? Guys think... Guys always make fun of girls because guys always say, like, girls don't know what they want because girls are, like... Girls are like, oh, I don't know what I want to eat. And then the guy's like, oh, do you want to eat this? And then the guy has to, like, trick her into, like, figuring out. The guy has to play the mind game, like, what do you want to eat type thing? Or does she actually want the fries? Or does she is she saying that she doesn't want the fries? Like, all of these. Or, like, I'm mad at you and you know why. And then you're like, oh, fuck. And then you literally have, like, 30 seconds to figure out why you fucked up. But you don't actually know you fucked up. Let me tell you this. As a guy, I think I speak for all guys here. Guys don't know when they're ready. They just don't. Guys just emotionally are stupid as fuck and they don't know, okay? But if the right girl comes along, the guy knows. The guy, like, it's so easy. The reason why it's so easy for a guy to get seduced is because if he meets the right girl, it's really obvious. The clouds, like, open up and then, like, heavenly light comes down and then God rides a pegasus down and he lightning strikes like a nearby tree. And you're like, oh, okay, okay year like we graduate in three months exactly. so i think right now would not be the best time for a relationship but it's not but it's good to be dumb sometimes it's actually really good to be stupid sometimes because like you get a lot out of life by being dumb okay like it would just be like circumstantial you know what I mean? you know like if you want to do something but then you start questioning like oh but like what if i'm not good enough or like oh what if what if i'm not strong enough guys are dumb and they're like i think two this is a simulation of two guys talking I think I can lift that boulder over there. You don't think that boulder will crush you? No, I think I can push that boulder all the way up that mountain. What do you get out of it? Satisfaction of knowing I could push that boulder up. Boom. Both those guys died in that story. What would you say your number is? I would say like 
five or six. Okay. All right. It's a good number. Yeah. Good number. yeah. Move it you on. Go. Move it you on. go. You go. You go. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. First crush. It looks like they're breaking to each other bad news. That's like the stance you do when you're like, you're gonna die. You are you have a terminal illness. I'm so sorry. You're dead. I honestly don't really remember a celebrity crush, so I guess I'll just go with my first real, real crush. crush. Um, Probably better answer. Yeah, when I was um, young, I don't know. I just had this crush on this girl. That People don't remember what age they were. I literally remember, okay. I literally remember the first time I saw the first girl I had a crush on, okay? It was like, it was like watching a magic trick for the very first time. It was like when Harry Potter pulled his name out of the Goblet of Fire, whatever the fuck, and he was like, holy shit, I didn't even put my name in there. That, um, I played, like, we both played soccer, okay. and, um, and like, she was, like, we were friends. Okay, um, okay. And she was really cool. We were not friends. We were not friends, and we were not compatible. Cool. I just like you know. That was the like, one time God yeah, lied to well, me when whatever. he opened up the clouds. Yeah, yeah. She was like really pretty. Yeah, really. Um, she did not like me back. Did you which is her? No, but like, I it was, there were zero indications. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. It, was, it was pretty. It was pretty clear after a while. It was like you know a childhood thing. But no, she was really. I have a friend who talks exactly like this guy. They have like the same mannerisms and the same voice. Cool, and she's yeah. really good at soccer. I is that don't what, know if she still attracted? plays anymore. No, I mean, I just, I played, okay. like, a ton of sports, and she was also, like, super athletic, so, like, maybe I okay. was, like, I was young, and I was, like, ooh. Ooh, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what triggers you on dates, and why? One thing that I'm thinking of right now is, like, Wait! Don't give your answer! Chat, what triggers you on dates? Hmm. This guy's eyebrows are huge. I didn't even realize how big they were until now. They take up so much, like, surface area. But they're like perfectly shaped. When they don't show up, yeah, that would that would tell me. I'm trying to think like, I've never had I've never had someone not show up. Like I've never had like a ghosting moment. I've also always shown up. Um, something that is like an it, like it irks me on a date. I think if they don't play along with jokes, I'm pretty irked. Like, I'm, it's like a huge turnoff to me if I like set you up for a joke and it's like a good joke and then you just like, I don't want to say that you like are too dumb to understand it because that's like a mean way of saying it, but like you, you don't go along with it because then I already know like we're not compatible. All right, yeah, thank you for the sub. Welcome Sienna back for it. nine months. Talking during a movie day for me. Okay. This is my beige flag, okay? I love, I love talking during movies. And I, and none of all my friends hated that I talked during movies, so I just wouldn't talk. And then I meet this friend group. Everyone in this friend group talks during movies. And I'm like, what the fuck? I finally, I, you guys are my soulmates as friends. You guys are movie talkers. Because like I'm watching a movie and then like sometimes I'm just like, that doesn't fucking make sense. Why would they do that? Blah, blah, blah. And then everyone in the audience is like, yeah, I know. What the fuck? People chew with their mouth open. Mm. Um, that like really bugs me for some reason. Okay. I'm <laughs> like noted. Don't do that yeah. when, to other people. Um, this is actually... That's a no-brainer though. This is like my second ever date, so... I don't think this I This is like, your second ever date? Yeah, well, if it's a... If this is like a date, yeah, so... Yeah, this is a date. This is my second. Uh, my first, it was like, like BCD Tofu. And like, I don't think anything triggered me. I think like BCD a tofu house. By right now, it's triggering me and making me anxious. That's kind of but distracting. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm feeling. I know. I'm moment. like pretty closed in, but it's like pretty nerve wracking. Where in life have you cared too much, and what did that lead to? Dang, oh, these are some deep questions. I know. Wait, their Wait, questions, questions are like the best ones. I can answer that. Yeah, yeah. That's so good. I had to learn that you can't fix people. Mm. Like that's not hard. true. That's not true. Listen, chat. I. Anyone can be fixed, okay? Anyone, everyone is fixed. You should go into every relationship and try and fix them, okay? I can fix him. I can fix her. Those are just, those are iconic things to say before you put on your superhero costume. Yeah. I've always, like, in relationships, I've taken on the role as, like, the provider a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, the, I have a lot of, like, nurturing energy. And, right, like, right. Like, mothering energy. And mm -hmm. I, like, She does give me, like, mom vibes. 
Her, her bracelets on her wrist make me think she does drugs. I'm just putting that out there. I can't fix her, unfortunately. Sometimes, like, think if I just pour all my care into someone, that they'll change. Right. And I learned that, like, the change comes from within, and, like, yeah. no matter, like, how much effort you put into it, it's up to them to, like, change their behaviors. Right. That's, that took a long time, though, you know? Yeah. I mean, everything's a growing process. She I seems like a plur person. There's things that I think about in the past. I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't do that. But if I didn't do that, then I wouldn't be where I'm at. And then yeah. I wouldn't have learned, you know? Yeah. So it's the like, butterfly effect, right? Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that's important for sure. Yeah. yeah. What is the most important letter anyone has ever written to you and why? Important letter. That's funny. I'm usually the letter writer. Important letter? Who the fuck writes letters? I grew up in a time when letters were still written and I don't remember getting letters. I am a letter writer, <laughs> absolutely. So um, I'd say, so my friend just moved out of her apartment. She graduated fall quarter. She moved out, um, said bye to her a few days ago. She gave me this letter. Actually, that's not true. I do get letters, but... It's about like how much, like we only got close this year and like how much... I'm more of like an, an, an AOL email reader. Like if you message me on AOL, an email, I'm like, oh shit, this is serious. That like impacted her and like what she like learned from me yeah, yeah. which i never Sarah wrote me a letter of myself as like being able to like show someone something new or like how to like different perspectives and everything so that was definitely the best letter like i feel like i can remember every single yeah. word like it was dude she remembers letters i feel like i just need to like study like, letters like thing to read um i think for my me, handwriting is really good though chat parents um i was graduating at the time and the letter was just a very like like, we're so happy to, like, be your parents and just, like, thank you for making, like, being a parent so easy. And that was just, like, a... Like, Have you know, your guys' like, parents ever written you letters? Are, are doing life for the first time also. So, like, just to hear that, like, I'm being a good kid for them was just, like, yeah. the best thing ever. I was, like, even though they do reassure me a lot, um, they... Just in a letter was a little bit more different. Yeah, I love your stance no. on that. Because I, I think when I was growing up, I forgot, I would forget that my parents are doing this for the first time. Like, they are... They that are is something, chat. Listen, all of our parents fucked up raising us we all know they made some mistakes okay you have to remember though it's their first time it's their first time being whatever age they are okay like it's still their first time when you're born you think your parents know everything they don't they don't know shit and you learn that like kind of early like i learned that my parents didn't know everything like when i was like in high school maybe they have no idea how to be a parent like yeah. and even their like teenage years and my teenage years totally exactly. different Just, like yeah. insanely different so when i like would be really harsh i would judge the way they would judge yeah. me essentially but i think as i've like gotten some space from them and like grown up a little bit i've been able to like figure out okay they're also doing this for the first time yeah. so i can't be like as harsh on them so i love that you said that because yeah. i agree yeah. yeah and no celebrity awesome. crushes i know um, I'm like, <laughs> i mean i have one now but all right, who the fuck? Chat, who's your childhood celebrity crush? Who, like, made you, who made you, like, learn that you're, like, attracted to stuff? Okay, okay. When I was younger, who did I like? <sighs> like Dora the Explorer? No. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just trying to make my answer look better, so. <laughs> um, probably when I was, like, 12, I liked, like, okay. Natalie Portman, because yeah. I was a big Star Wars fan. Not so, anymore. Um, well, I still like Natalie. Yeah, yeah she's, she's great. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, he just, he's so, why is he so weird about answering this? Um, but yeah, like, I was a big Star Wars prequels fan, so I still really? am, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. Like, I was when I was, like, I that age, Prince, so. like, Leia and, like, some oh. What is, like, what's an answer that's just, like, this date has to end? Like, oh, I like Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks is, like, my favorite. Danny Phantom? Dude, that's the one of the sickest theme songs of all that's time to this yeah. day. That is not the prequels, but that is... Okay, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. I'll, I'll grab one for sure for the last right. minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No gatekeeping Star Wars. That's that's an ick. That's gotta be an ick. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you have something to prove? Oof. Yeah, she has to prove that she's not a giddy two shoes. That's why she got a piercing because she's trying not to be quirky. Um, I feel like as a woman, kinda mm -hmm. like I she has to prove herself in Valorant as a woman. I feel like, uh, you know when somebody's like, like, you order something and you're like, you're gonna finish all that? Like, that's yeah. when I have to do it. Or, right. I do a lot of things, like, I, I've solo backpack and traveled by myself in countries that, like, that people don't want me to go to. That's what I want to do after college. Yeah, like, you I just should. Like, I want to travel as much as possible. It's so enriching and, like, there's obstacles, but then when you're doing it, you can be like, I paid for this myself, right. I got there myself. Right. Dude, I have a weird hunch chat that she makes 800k she's just traveling 
She's just traveling all over the place by herself. She probably has like snipers like around, you know, to protect and her. And really good. Self-starter so. energy. You know, I love that. Yeah. Like I always like look for ambition and like adventure in people. I feel like that's something that I've learned even like in past relationships. I'm like, oh, like that's not like a want. It's a need for me. Like mm -hmm. I just really need like spontaneity in a sense, but yeah. like also just like someone who's driven. That's, ambition that's is really sexy. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> cool. Amazing. Right. Yeah. Are we what do we what do we do now? I'm is there another card? No, that's it. Oh, there's time left. I forgot about that. Okay. We're quitters. It's fine. Holy shit. Five minutes. Okay. That was so um, awkward. We've made it to the end of the date. Your date is over. Okay. Please gather your things, stand up, and wait for instructions. <laughs> <laughs> These two win a Lamborghini. These two had so much synergy. <laughs> I think we have to get instructions first. Wait, what did it say? End of the day. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> what was I getting you? Now I also think this YouTube video would suck oh, if no one stayed. Do people, okay, do people just like watching people like in pain? Is that why they do this? Like people just want to see like. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh Dude, that could have been so that bad. So That's my best friend over there. That could have been so bad. <laughs> best friend way. <laughs> Why didn't you Please feel the him? connection with Jordan? I mean, I think we would be friends. It's just like, <laughs> first year he's like a senior, so like, age gap. I mean, she was really sweet, but... Age uh, gap? That's not the reason. It, and I'm a senior, so... It I is not an age gap know, thing. That's just not really romantic connection to me. Yeah, I think I think that they just had no banter. I think if you're gonna date someone and you can't banter with them, it's gonna be boring. It's like not gonna be a great. He's into white women. Okay, yeah, you could. Okay, yeah, sure, Vince. Yeah, we can say that. Wait, but who is his crush again? The girl isn't ready for commitment. Wait, these two have a different, like a completely different, like layout. Why do they do this? They do this in like the most painful way ever. Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Dude. Low key, I think she's a coward. I think she wants to put her hand out, but she's afraid of looking cringe on camera. So she took her hands back. Like, I actually think that's what happened. Okay. All right. It was super nice meeting you. It was really nice meeting you. Dude, you're fucked. You reminded him that his mom died, and then you made him talk to your what the fuck is wrong with you i know you um i just got more of like a friendly vibe if that's no cool it's totally you. cool yeah okay yeah it was totally great meeting you though damien course, you too. i super enjoyed if she breathes she's the thought fuck fuck the matriarchy we're going back to patriarchy guys i'm sorry yeah me too. Right. she represents every woman everywhere and he represents every man everywhere i don't make the rules all right you too i don't make the rules Uh, not really. Obviously, she's two years younger than me. I feel like with me graduating in June, that's like a very, like, you know, having to date. I hate this PR stuff. answer. I actually hate this PR answer. You both are in college. If you want to, like, date, I really don't think that that's going to be the thing. Okay, if you guys were, like, 30 and someone in college, I would get that. But if you're just both in college, like, like, what do you think happens after college? Do you think, like, oh, fuck, I got a job at, like... Amazon, I gotta move to Seattle. Like, that could be the case, but it's like... That's kind of like... 
think that's not a good reason. Cool. But, um, but yeah, overall, not too bad. It says, have you ever gone through something upsetting or painful that you live? Wait, they give them fortune upset? cookies? Um, oh yeah, um, I'll talk about my mom. My mother passed away. Wait, in... sorry, what was this question? Um, I'll talk about my mom. My mom. Have you ever gone through something upsetting or painful that you later viewed as a blessing? Um, I'm gonna be real chat. If my mom passes away, like, I don't know how I'm gonna, like, get through that. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll talk about my mom. My mother passed away in November of last year. Uh, of two years ago, sorry. So 2022. She was struggling from early onset alzheimer's for eight years so it was that's me i'm gonna have alzheimer's guys really painful to see her go through that um obviously I, I don't i don't see it as a blessing that she passed away but i think it was something like over time and through lots of therapy <laughs> i was able to kind of come to terms with and find ways to honor her memory i think i'm just thankful that i got to know her for as long as i did and the youngest years of childhood are the, are the best and most important. Okay, I've thought about this chat. If I die, can you guys taxidermy me and keep me in your in your house? Important. So I was able to spend those with her and just look back at them fondly and obviously still spend time with her family in Serbia. So, so yeah, I would say that's like the best answer. Bates, we've like known each other for like an entire week and you're not going to taxidermy me in your house? That's so selfish of you. That she's very adventurous and like outgoing, has a lot of ambition. I think that's those are really important. I paid for all of your guys' college tuition and hosted this dating show for you guys, and you're not gonna taxidermy me in your own home. You guys are not parasocial at all. I'm giving you the key to the doorway to become parasocial, and you just aren't taking it. I like your background. I am literally making you Sora from Kingdom Hearts and giving you the Keyblade, and you are not opening the door to see Mickey Mouse. So being able to like so that there may be a potential like connection between our two families would be really nice. I don't know, I just... I'd rather keep a photo of you than taxidermy you. Why? I think it, I think a photo is just like a, a far off memory. But like me being there physically with you and never closing my eyes, I feel like that's like a scattered dream. I don't know if you guys understood that reference, but that was like a really deep reference. 